Now we are definitely somewhere. Like, look at this. We are definitely somewhere. Now, where is the thing? It should be... Oh, yes. Oh, come on. That is civilization signs. What have we discovered? Warning. Maximum damage. Ah, shoot. Hull damage imminent. It's barely enough to take me down here. I really need that depth module upgrade. Ah, hold on, hold on. Let's explore a bit. What is this place? Oh, do I have the prawn suit fragments that I need? Hold on, I think I need one more. Yes, haha. -ha. Now we get the prawn suit. Rubies! That is a big ruby though. Ah, oh, man. Oh, do not entice me. Yes, I see one. Don't entice me with big rubies. And not give me the small ones. Yes. We can manufacture. We will be able to soon manufacture. Hey, what was that? Breaker? No, that's just a simple rock. <laughs> Getting excited about a simple rock. We will soon be able to manufacture the depth module too. If we keep this up. Alright, let's light the area. We do have some time. Let's just explore and gather some materials. Rubies! Yes! Now, uh, hold on. I'm gonna use my, uh... Where is it? My thingy. My metal detector thingy. Where are you? I'm too excited. Alright, take it out. Give me rubies. Hold on. There it is. Rubies, yes! It is finding the rubies. Where is it? Right here. Don't attack me. No, no, don't attack me, you crap. Come on. Let me be. Any more rubies? Yes! All around me, man. This is so exciting. Where? Behind me? On top of me? Ah, hold on. Let me gather some materials and I'll be back. All right. We found four rubies. Nice. All right, let's get back in. I think that's all I can find here. Is there any more? No. Let's get back in there. There is one more direction we can explore. And that probably will take me to my destination. There's nothing down there. Well, apart from a huge pile of rubies. <laughs> ah, I don't have the drill arm to do that though, to mine it. To mine those big chunks, you need the prawn suit with a drill arm. Uh, hold on, speaking of which, what is that part? Maybe that's the fragment for the drill arm. Look at these huge deposits. Ah, uh, can I? Yes, there you go. Oh, I actually have it. Interesting. I have the blueprint. Whenever you have the blueprint, any extras you find get converted into titanium. Ah, let's go back in. Oh, this place has me excited. What are we gonna find? Are we gonna find more than just the artifact? I mean, alone the fact that we found the rubies. I'm so excited about that. We can start... Oh, Jesus. The prawn suit fragments. We can start manufacturing things. Uh, this seems to be... Oh, and a ruby. Yeah, I cannot go through that with my sea truck. Hold on. Seems to be where the artifact is, though. Right, give me rubies. Show me more rubies. I have the drill arm. Oh, yes. Hello. One alien artifact. Who wants some? Reassuring and unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. My connection to the network grows stronger, however slightly. I hope you will continue to search for more of these. Of course I will. Let's scan this. An alien statue. Okay, cool. New technology acquired. And a quantum locker. Cool. Right, you can pause and read something about centers in Greek mythology. I'm guessing that is the form that the architect takes. 
Let me quickly find diamonds and rubies in here. And I think that's all the diamonds we can find. There's another direction we can explore in though. Let's go do that. Back it up a bit, and to the left, there is a whole network of... Kinda seems like a mining operation, doesn't it? Ouch! Jesus. Oh, come on, don't tell me I cannot go in. Can definitely get squeeze through that. And we can, yes. I mean, with the prawn suits and the drilling arms, you would guess this is kind of a mining operation. Oh, another ruby, yes. So many rubies, are you kidding me? I'm getting out. I'm collecting all the rubies. Maybe we are at the copper mining facility that we saw on the map. I mean, where is the, the... The copper mining was supposed to be close to the Delta facility, right? Where is Delta? It's right above me, so yes, that would be consistent with what we know. Diamonds. I care more about rubies, though. Hold on. We already have diamonds. I want the rubies. What is that? Is that an ion battery? Prawn suit jump set upgrade. Yes, sure. Why not? Drill arm, we have that. Give me this. Ah, uh, don't eat me. Please. Uh, let's keep exploring further. I think I kind of picked this area clean. Man, we're finding lots of rubies, though. Ouch, Jesus Christ, I need to repair my truck pronto. Oh, I'm so excited that I'm rushing ahead and... bumping left and right. Look at these rubies! Man, I wish I had a drill on my arm right now. Ah, uh, hold on. First things first. We need to go out and repair this thing. Excellent. And now... Let's find more stuff. Diamonds and rubies. Rubies, yes. Oh, he's fighting the pile. No, not the pile. I cannot get, get that. What else can we find in here? Let's see. Some technology, maybe. Now, ah, what is this? Thermal pl plant. Sure. That was very necessary in the first game. I spent an age down in the lava gates. Oh, look at all these rubies. Are you kidding me? Yes, I want all of them. And I saw a fragment, I think. There you go. I guess we're getting a thermal plant out of this. Yes, now we got the blueprints. Can I get more rubies? Apparently not. Alright, copper mining site. This actually makes it a certainty. We are here. That is the symbol that we saw on the map. Right? Hold on. Is that the case? Yep, there it is. That is the Q symbol. So I'm guessing that is crossing off another item off our list. Alright, I picked the, the place kind of clean though now, so let's get in. And by the way, I was looking at the uh, the recipe you see in the upper right corner. It seems like we are still missing one key ingredient to make the Mark II depth module. And that is some spiral plant clippings. Oh, diamond. Hello. Let me quickly go grab that. Apparently, I had a quick peek on the internet because you know me. <laughs> Always playing fair and whatnot. And that is a plant that grows in the purple vents that we saw earlier. So we might have to backtrack a bit to find some of these spiral plant clippings. In any case, let's find a way to get out of here first. 
That is a th part of the thermal... Is that the thermal plant? Man, there's so many things to scan. I think that is the same thing that we already unlocked, but let's just make certain. Are you a thermal plant? Yes, you are. Ah, cool. Give me the titanium, I guess. Lots of thermal things here. I'm guessing this is one too, yes. Alright, the game is just making sure we do not miss out on the thermal plant, I guess. That is fine, but we need to move forward now. And hey, we did unlock a lot of things. Like, what did we unlock? Hold on, let's actually take stock here. Blueprints. What are our new blueprints? Let's go from the beginning and see. Reinforced dive suit. Oh man, that requires synthetic fibers as well. That is the thing that I cannot make, unless I find the plan I was talking about earlier. Quantum locker. Storage solution which shares content with all quantum lockers. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll do that. Obviously, the prawn suit. Man, I really want this thing. The fabricator module. I mean, it doesn't tell you what it does, but it will fabricate things. I mean, why else would it be named a fabricator module, right? Which is gonna be very nice. We're gonna turn this into a mobile base, the sea truck, if we can. Thermal blade. Oh, yes, I need that. I can make that. That is... Well, it actually says, cooks and sterilizes small organisms for immediate consumption. So you do not need to have, you know, a fabricator. You can just cook things, cook fish right there on the spot. <laughs> we can manufacture a snowman, yes, a man made of snow. Why? <laughs> Why would they do that? A thermal plant, some various things, a power cell charger. Oh, I have a battery charger? When did I unlock that? Maybe it unlocks with the power cell charger. In any case, I'm excited. We have a lot of things. Let's get out of here. We're gonna go back to base, manufacture things, regroup, and then we're gonna go looking for those pirate plant thingies. Last thing I need. Oh, rubies. Sweet rubies. Give me those. I was worried we wouldn't find rubies with my current depth module. Uh, let's see. Not diamonds. Search for rubies, please. Where are the damn rubies? Come on. There you go. Oh, another one. I got you. Where are you? Very close to me. Are you down here? No, you're not. Man, I don't see it. I'm right on top of it. <laughs> the game is messing with me. There's nothing here. Ah, right, move on. It may be spawned inside the, uh, inside the rock there, or something. Alright, this seems to be going higher up. I want to be careful before leaving that we do not miss out on any rubies. Now, where does this go? This kind of looks like it was meant to be navigated with a prawn suit. I mean, you see all these jumping points. But hey, I got a sea truck. I'm gonna use a sea truck. I'm sorry. <laughs> when life gives you lemons. When life gives you sea trucks and there's the exit. Okay, cool. Hold on. Before we go. Anything we can find here. Let's take a quick peek. Discover maybe some technologies and whatnot. I think we can also scan for fragments. I'm gonna do that. Now you can set your mine detector. To scan for fragments. I think there it is. Oh, and actually we found one. There it is. Moon pool, yes. Thank you. What a final, what a great final gift before leaving. And we get more fragments. Where? Well, I did that. Is there anything else? I don't know what the game is showing me. I don't see anything else here, game. I'm sorry. All right, and I think it's time we bid adieu to this facility. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yes, yes, I know, Gladys. All right, now. Bye-byes. Am I gonna fit through that? Oh, man, that kind of looks a bit too narrow. Ugh. Can I? No. No, I can't. Oh, come on, game. Come on, let me out. I'm so close. I'm so close, damn it. 
Oh, maybe I'll have to detach my modules. Oh, man. Let's see if we can squeeze through one by one. <laughs> oh, exiting this facility is turning into a little adventure of its own. No, oh, man, it's not happening. Ah, damn it. We have to go the long way around. Oh, well, I guess we're adding a bit more to our little adventure here. Let's attach this. Let's quickly change some batteries. Man, this is dead. This is dead. Hold on. I think I have one. Please tell me I brought my... My batteries here. Yes, I brought my power cells. Thank Jesus. <laughs> oh, that would have been bad. Right, let's put one in. Why are you putting this? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, let's exchange the other one as well. Let's put two fresh ones. And I guess now we're gonna have to go all the way back. Oh boy. Man, this damn exit. Make it a bit wider, devs. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is the deal with that? Oh man, are we finally out? Jesus Christ. Oh, we are out. Yes. Wow, you wouldn't believe what I had to do. I should probably have recorded some of it, actually. Like, I had to detach the uh, the back of the truck, pilot it manually just to squeeze through some vents. Damn it. All right, let's go back, regroup a bit. Ooh, well, that was an adventure. Oh, and home, sweet home. We have arrived, yes. Oh, time to regroup. I'm gonna start building some things. We definitely need battery chargers. And also I need food and whatnot. Now I'm gonna try to build another maybe multi-purpose room, make this a bit symmetrical. Can I even? Yes, I can. Excellent. Oh, hold on. Oh, structural integrity. Hold on, hold on. Maybe we need to reinforce some things before we do that. Ah, uh, can I? Reinforcement. Man, that needs lithium. Are you kidding me? How about a uh, bulk door? I don't want to spend any lithium right now. Oh, you know what? Just some foundation. Yes. Hold on. Let's go ahead. Get some lead and build foundations. I'm not spending lithium right now. Are you kidding me? All right. Give me a simple foundation. Ah, uh, sure. Sure there why not i want to see the number how is my structural integrity oh 7.8 i think we should be fine let's build a multi-purpose room oh come on what am i lacking titanium are you kidding me the one source that is a plenty Alright, structural integrity 6.5. We're still doing very fine. I just want to build some places to put, you know, my energy chargers, my uh, my battery chargers and whatnot. And of course, my rubies. Oh man, I'm so proud I finally found rubies. It's just a shame that we also need those spiral clipping things. But damn it, we got rubies. We are gonna be fine. Look at all these diamonds. Ha, I need a bigger locker. Are you kidding me? All right, let's go uh, transport some things. I'm going to do some base management. All right, done. And now we're going to start building stuff. All right, let's see. First of all, let me quickly tend to my farms here. I do have some gel sacks that I collected previously. I'm going to put them here. Start growing. Uh, why am I carrying a seaweed? <laughs> Right, in case we don't need that and now let's go inside and maybe build some battery chargers and the knife oh man i really love the uh the thermal blade in the first game it is a cook station on the go also we need a water filtration system man we need so much stuff all right hold on uh give me the base builder tool fabrication station we can make it if we get a computer chip a diamond and lead and now I have all of these, so let's make one. I'm gonna put it uh, right next to the entrance. Excellent. Can we make a thermal blade immediately? Yes, excellent. 
Oh, I'm so glad. Now we can have easy food. I don't need to worry about food anymore. That is such a freeing thing. What else can we make? The Mark II upgrade. Yes, I've already pinned that down. Mark III upgrade. Oh, man. Yeah, that needs... That needs nickel and kyanite. Oh, I know these are to be found to the close to the lavas in the first game. So we'll see. And prawn suit depth upgrade. All right, next up, I want to make a filtration unit thing. A water filtration machine, I mean. What do we need for that? Aerogel? Oh, I'm thinking aerogel. Doesn't that need the gel sacs? Was I prudent to plant the gel sacs? Let's see. Aerogel needs a ruby and a gel sack. Nice. All right, so give me some rubies. I told you they would come in handy. And let's go get a gel sack as well. Have they grown? Yeah, they kind of look like they've grown. Okay, cool. I'm going to kill one of them and plant the other. What have you got for me, little monkey? Quartz. Thank you. So kind of you. All right, plant three and give me one. We're going to grow these slowly but shortly. Now, what else did we need for that? Hold on. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yes, thank you, Gladys. It's nice to be here. We need the aerogel, copper, and three titaniums. All right. Give me three titaniums. Give me a copper wire. Let's make an aerogel. And one filtration unit should be coming up. Yes. Where am I gonna put you? I'm gonna put you. Let's put you in this corner. I wanna be. I wanna have quick and easy access to it. How's my structural integrity looking after I build this thing though? 5.5. Yes, we're still fine. We still have ways to go. Now, this thing. Uses energy, obviously, and then manufactures two salts in the upper parts and two waters and incredibly good quality waters. Like, they give me 50 filtration, uh, 50 water, while these things give me only 25 comparatively. So we will very soon have very nice things. Yes, excellent. We have taken care of our hunger needs with the thermal blade and our uh, water needs, I guess, with this thing. So it is looking fine. Next up, I definitely need to build some battery chargers. Where are these interior ones? Battery charger and this. What do we need? Wiring, copper, and titanium. All right. Titanium. Wiring. I already have one ready. And what was the other thing? A copper wire. Didn't I take a copper wire? All right, wherever. Now we got it. Where am I going to build you at? I'm going to build you... Right here, we're gonna have a battery charging station upwards. And right below it, I'm gonna build the uh, the other thing. What is it called? The power cell charger. Oh man, we need two lithiums for that. Jesus Christ. That is an expensive thing. Do I have so, uh, so many lithiums? No, oh, I only have four lithiums. Should I do it? Or you know what? Hold on, hold on. Uh, Shackham has a big brain idea. Instead of building a uh, charger for the uh, for the things, the large batteries, whatever they are called. Man, I keep forgetting. <laughs> How on earth are they called? The power cells, yes. Instead of building that, which costs lithium, I could build a moon pool. A moon pool is a, uh, a place where we can put vehicles. And that is auto-recharging the vehicles and their uh, power cells. So it essentially is a power cell charger, right? Only it has multiple benefits for vehicles as well. So what do we need? Two titaniums, two leads and a lubricant. Now two titaniums. 